Tu, pakaž kamen, že jak vyglandáš. NASA. He. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Commander Orange vlog. Today is part three of the Florida series. And today we are going to the legendary Kennedy Space Center, where there's a bunch of crazy stuff. And we're also going to see a rocket launch. The Atlas V rocket launch, which is going to be very fun because I've never been to a rocket launch before. It's going to be 5.1 miles away. And if you guys didn't know, I'm a massive rocket space flight nerd, okay? I love this stuff. So this is going to be very exciting for me. So if I have a, a stroke or I pass out after I see a rocket, so then you guys know why, all right? It's going to be fantastic. I'm very excited for this. Kennedy Space Center. This is the legendary Kennedy Space Center. Yes. Right? Something like that? Something like that. <laughs> that's that's the motto of NASA. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, check it, check it. There's the Delta II. Look how cool that rocket is. I love the color, the blue color. The Delta II is such a cool color. I love it. I love it. The four SRBs. Where's that three? What? The three SRBs on the sides. It looks so cool. The blue one. And then right here is the Titan Gemini, I think. And then here's, here's a fake little Mercury capsule. Isn't that cool? Mercury capsule. <laughs> That's awesome. Look, they have like the there's oh they have the rocket engine visible too. Look, you can see the uh, turbo pumps and stuff. There's the F1 rocket engine all the way back there. If you can see that's for the Saturn V. Building. Those doors are the largest in the world. 456 feet high. It takes 45 minutes to completely open one. Each of those panels raise up to them. Take the rockets in and out. Each of those panels weighs 43 tons. Look at this guy's mission control right here. Real artifacts. That is so cool. Caused the metal skin of the rocket to expand and contract. Everyone was on the pan agreed. It was as though the rocket was alive, breathing, straining at the leash. Earlier in the morning, you are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8, right here where it actually happened. Mankind is about to leave his planet. 
This guys, those are F1 rocket engines, most powerful rocket engines ever built. This is the actual rocket, look. I think this is only the second stage. No, this is the first stage, yeah. Yeah, this is the first stage, and then it's the whole thing. Jesus, that is so cool. Look how massive it is. It's huge. Oh my. God, there's the CSM over there, the command module, the service module as well. Look at that. And then here it is. Look, you can see like all of the tiny tubes. That's where the coolant would go through the fuel to cool down the nozzle so it wouldn't melt from the heat. Look at that. You can see everything that turbo Oh my god. Can you see like inside of the engine? Wow, look at that. That is so cool looking. Look at this guys, this is the command service module. That cone bit right there is where the astronauts sat. They go to the moon. Look at that, you can see the RCS thrusters for maneuvering on the sides. And then the giant uh, vacuum engine right there. Look at that, that thing is so cool looking. Look at this. I'm not really sure what the sleeves are for. I'm pretty sure air is supposed to go through. And I don't know what it's for, but it like, goes through the sleeves and does something. It's like ridges. a model of the Saturn V right here. Yeah, look at that. This is awesome. You can see like all the exposed wires. These are, I'm pretty sure, J2 engines. That one has uh, F1 engines. These are, I think, J1 or J2 rocket engines. They're made for like um, high altitude, high altitude, low pressure environments. Look at this. Yeah, this is, yeah, this part just goes off. Oh, they don't have the interstage adapter ring, which is like in between. It's like the little ring that pops off. Look at that spacesuit. I don't think it's to scale, or maybe it is to scale. Is it? Look at that. That's cool. He's got a hammer for some reason. Look at this. This is the third stage, guys. 
Look at that, that is very cool. Over there are like these panels that cover the lunar lander. It would sit inside of there, like inside this area. And those panels that kind of curve downwards, as you can see, those would fall off. And then the um, command module would do like a 180 and turn the other way and then extract the lunar lander out of the third stage. And then they'd keep going to the moon and stuff, you know. And the third stage would just be left behind. This entire rocket would all go just, you know, it would just go away. You won't have the entire rocket. The only thing that would stay behind is the command module, which is on the very tip, way over there. So, yeah, look, you've got the lunar lander right there, yeah. That is, that's the actual thing. That's the actual lunar lander. It's way bigger than you would think. Look at this, this is the Astro Van. The van that the astronauts would go in to get to the launch pad. Look at this, that's the, um... That's the abort tower. It's got SRBs right there. Those are like little rocket engines. And they, they have like wires going through the entire structure. So whenever you'd have something break, like an explosion or something, the wires would also break along with the rocket. And that would cause those to go off. And then the command module with the astronauts would escape to safety and the entire rocket would blow up. There you go, see? That's their safety system, which doesn't seem very safe rover look at that that's the that's the lunar rover diesel oh my god electric <laughs> diesel no oh, plutonium it needs a little more kick 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> it's got of electricity <laughs> look at that it's got a nuclear reactor probably look at the tires look they couldn't use right. like rubber so they use like this strange mechanism look at that you can see the top of the tank that's so cool looking <laughs> This is the real here. command module. We'll begin in three it went through re-entry, you can if tell by how it looks. It just went through re-entry. That is so cool. That's the Thank real you. one. Not like a replica. This is real. That is so cool. Look, you, look at the mechanism just for the door. The door has like the most complex gearbox mechanism. That is so cool. You can see the parachute like bags up there. That would like have the parachutes blast out. Yeah. yeah. That over there here, I'm zooming in for you guys. That's the Atlas V rocket carrying a, a geostationary orbit atmospheric mapping satellite. the silica tiles on the underside, the heat shield, look at that, and that survived re-entry, traveling at like Mach 26, <laughs> that is crazy, look at that, we've got the RCS thrusters, the Canada arm, Canada arm, it says Canada on it, that is so cool, and then the cargo bay is open, dude, look at the wings, they're massive, Wow, it's huge! It's so big, isn't it? You won't think it's that big, but it's massive. It's immense. It's just like the Saturn V that we saw. Yeah. It just comes out of nowhere how big it is. That is crazy. Look at this, guys. The cargo bay is open. You've got the doors that open and the Canada arm. Canada arm. There's two? I didn't know there were two Canada arms on the space shuttle. Is that the... What is that? I'm not sure what that is. I think that's that's for Skylab, that's right. That's a docking port that they had for Skylab. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah, and you'd enter through there through a tunnel and you'd go out and you could enter the ISS through that, the International Space Station. It's like a little docking adapter that they put on. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's huge, you would not think it's this big. And look, it's like fabric too. You would not think that this can go to space. Look at that, you've got the engines back there. The vertical stabilizer, it says NASA on the wing too. It's so big. Look at that wing, massive wings. Huge vertical stabilizer, massive. 
Look at this. Wow. Look at this. These are the massive RS-25 rocket engines. I believe they're RS-25. These, they used actually hydraulics in order to compress the nozzle a little bit at different times in, uh, in its launch period so that the, um, the column of like, you know, stuff that gets ejected out will get like smaller and bigger. Just sort of like on a jet engine on a normal aircraft. Yeah, on a normal like uh, fighter jet aircraft. It does the same thing. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, hydraulic. The nozzle can move and expand and stuff. You can see the cooling channels going through. They're so big too, they're huge. There's also a flap right here. This is basically like a giant elevator, like I'm on a normal aircraft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you got like the markings from the re-entry, like scars on it. Like you guys cannot understand this unless you come to Kennedy Space Center. Like it is huge. You would not think that this could <laughs> go into orbit and come back. And this has done that so many times. And it's going back oh, to his pilot on. days. Right. Dad was really the master pilot. Butter smooth landings. Dad was the mastermind of piloting. Now he's going to land a space shuttle. He's never done this before. No, never. <laughs> he's never landed a space shuttle. Look at this. 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 successfully. <laughs> Actually, we're off the runway. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. We've got the Hubble Space Telescope right here. This thing is amazing. <laughs> this, guys, this is the Gemini Titan, I believe. I think. I think it is. I don't know. Look how big it is. It's massive. <laughs> Huge. Look, it's got the rocket engines exposed. I'm not sure what kind of those are, but there's some kind. Saturn 1B and then a bunch of other Look at this. That I believe is the electric toothbrush looking thing. That I think that's the Delta one. Yeah, I think that's the that might just that might be the Atlas. No, I don't know. I don't know if that's the Delta one or the Atlas one. One of the two. And this is the Juno 2, I believe. The Juno 2. This one launched the Juno satellite spacecraft thing into orbit. And then over there is the legendary. Mercury Atlas and the Mercury Redstone is somewhere around here. Or that's the Mercury Atlas. That's the Mercury Redstone. The smaller one is the Mercury Redstone. Yeah, look at that. You have like a cylinder. That's the one I think, and the Juno 2 is over here. I believe. Yeah, but the Juno one, I had like this little cylinder at the top, and that would spin, and that would be like the gyroscopic effect, I believe. I'm not sure actually. Look at that. The one rocket engine, so biggest. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Look at that. I think it's getting some advertising deal. This is the Delta II. This is a beautiful rocket, as you can oh, see. Yeah? It's blue. Look at this. The Saturn 1B. It looks similar to the Saturn V, except I believe it has eight engines in the back instead of five, like huge ones. And I think there are J2 engines as well. And it's got like fins here on the sides. This thing has it. It's got uh, the Saturn V has only four. This one, I believe, has six. I think this one also had eight. Look at this guys, real F1 rocket engine. This is amazing. Look, it looks so polished too, it's beautiful. This right here, this was actually a massive turbine inside there. It would spin around really fast and it would shoot exhaust gases that were, I think they were oxygen rich. They would go through and inside the nozzle and cool stuff down. How many cylinders? At least like a V126 I'd say. From Puerto Rico in particular, I think that uh, having that video conference with them, it did provide some hope, it did provide some inspiration. And so it's just one of the, one of the benefits that we get from the International Space Station. Beside me, the stream will have a slight delay, usually around 30 seconds, sometimes it can be more. So when we're counting down together, we're going to look at the big red clock, not the screen, not the big screen.
That's the rocket right there, guys. Look at that. Is this one yum? Nice. Nope. That's the rocket, that Atlas V. It's launching the GOES T Atmospheric Mapping Station Air Base Satellite. Yes, we've got 10, oh, we got no less. We've got nine minutes on the clock. This is going to be crazy. I cannot wait. Guys, we've got five minutes on the clock. This is amazing. We're getting close to launch. The timer is going down. Look at this. The timer is going. Oh, geez. everybody's standing. All right, let's go. We're standing, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Uh, we got good views. We're the tall people. I'm six foot two. That's six foot four. Look, the clock is going down. I'm shaking. Three minutes on the clock. Look at this, guys. Exactly one minute. We got less than one minute on the clock. This is gonna be so cool. The rocket's gotta go right over those traffic lights up there. We got 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Oh my god. Get ready, guys. There's the rocket on the screen. No. Eight, seven, six, five, four. One! Get ready guys! Oh my god! We're gonna start hearing it. Oh my god. Where is it? Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Nice! Let's go! Oh! Look at it! It's going fast! Oh! We're about to feel it. We're about to feel the shock. Get ready. Still can't hear it yet. Wow. Oh, do you hear that? Oh my god. Dude. Whoa. It's going into space. Get ready. That is crazy. Look at that smoke trail.